Hello everybody, I am your UNW owner Justin and I am here to give you the results on Summerfest 3. Summerfest 3 was held in June but since to um, Jamie's iPhone not being able to transfer the videos over to the computer for editing we could only put up the money in the bank match from Summerfest 3. Now this lit, this gave us a pretty um, bad situation as we didn't know what to do. So we decided now to give you the results of Summerfest 3 and just go from there. In the first match, as you know, we had the Money in the Bank match where Nikki, Corey, Hunter Wirtz, Forsaken Fury, The Dark and Savior, and Andrew fought for the Money in the Bank strap. Nikki prevailed in this match and was given an opportunity to cash in the strap at any time he wanted to for an automatic World Heavyweight Championship shot. In the second match, we had a Hardcore Championship match between Corey and the Darkened Savior. Now, Corey beat um, the Darkened Savior in this match to win the Hardcore Championship, but Tim came out afterwards, beat down Corey, pinned him 1 2 3, and became the new Hardcore Champion. After that was the Triple Threat number one contendership match for the Tag Team Champions. The contenders in this was the team of Tim and Jordan. A team of Andrew and Hunter Wirtz, and the team of Nikki and Corey. And in the end, Andrew and Hunter Wirtz became the number one contenders for mine and HV's tag team titles at the time. After the triple threat number one t contendership for the tag team champion, Jordan turned on Tim to become the new hardcore champion. Now, after that was the tag team championship match. Before was the tag team champions match of Andrew and Hunter Words versus me and HV, the tag team champion. Now me and HV, we beat down, we beat them down, we beat them one, two, three. And then Luke came out, and was like, I got a challenge for you. If I find a tag team partner because Jamie retired, you want it for the belts. Me and HV, knowing we like the challenge, we accepted that. Little did I know that Luke's tag team partner. Was going to be my partner. I can't believe it, HV. I can't believe what you would do. We were tag team partners for the longest time and you just give that all away to be with Luke. I thought we were real. But I can't let that hurt this video right here as there's more results to give out. So after that was Justin versus the Darkened Savior in an Extreme Lumberjack match, which through all hell that was given by the Lumberjacks, I ended up to defeat the Darkened Savior. After that, the Lumberjacks were going chaos out of the ring. Jordan and Tim were part of the Lumberjack crew, and Tim seeked revenge on Jordan for beating him earlier. Tim beat down Jordan and got the 1-2-3 to become the new hardcore champ and ran off. The next matchup was the ownership match between me, Corey, Tim, and Hunter. I eliminated Corey by a swagger bomb. Hunter eliminated Tim by a get a rock bottom through a table. And Hunter was trying to get me old school off the rope, but I reversed it and gave him a choke slam through the table to become the new UNW owner. The final match of the evening was the Rumble match for Luke's World Heavyweight Championship match. Now in this match, every UNW roster member was in this match. And in the end, Corey threw over everybody and won the Royal Rumble. And after that, for no good reason, Luke and Hunter came out and started attacking Corey. And in a sick, twisted way, Nikki came out and cashed in his money in the bank strap to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. So that's why I got Nikki here today. Nikki, do you have any thoughts on becoming the new UNW World Champion? And why have you aligned yourself with Luke and HV? So, as you can see, I'm the new UNW Champion. Don't push me, punk. I am the owner of UNW. This is the beginning. 
the beginning of the nightmare. Take my courage.